Hello everyone, my name is Patty Alfonso. Hopefully the third time is the charm. Um, I am gonna hang on and wait for Jocelyn Daniel to come on with me because we are gonna talk about a program that I have coming up this Friday called Access Consciousness on the TEDx stage. And I've gotten a lot of different questions and it seems like maybe some people are not clear on what this is and so I wanted to clear some of those things up. Here we go, how does it get better? Now, I created this program um, because in the last, well, actually, for a really long time, I've actually wanted, hi, Jocelyn, I'm hi. gonna give them a little, yes. a little preview and then we'll get started. So I've been passionate, really passionate about being on stage and speaking and sharing tools my entire life. And it's been a dream of mine for a really long time to do a TED Talk or to be on the TEDx stage. And so while I was going through my own journey of um, applying and creating the speech and getting present with what I'd like to talk about, I kind of had this like hit of inspiration, this, this just really loud call to invite any and all either facilitators, practitioners, bars facilitators, anyone that's using the tools of access consciousness to invite them to come and play with me <laughs> through this particular platform. Um, and so with that vision, right, I would like to in the future curate a TED event and I would like to feature all access facilitators at that event. But that that is in the future. And I started asking questions. Well, what would it take? And what can I be and do and choose now to start creating that? And then this program came up. Um, again, it's called Access Consciousness on the TEDx stage, and it starts on Friday. And Jocelyn is going to be the voice of all of you that have questions about what this program really is. So, What's it got for me, lady? <laughs> well, Patty already covered most of it, but like she said, this conversation really came about because I was like, when I saw her post initially for a TEDx program, I was like, what is this? I love TEDx. Tell me more. What is it about? And so I was asking her some questions earlier today about the program, and she's been getting similar questions. So um, I will do my best to try to be the voice of everyone who is um, interested but not sure what the program's about. So... Um, Patty, do you want to tell us a little bit about the program? Like what it actually yes. is? Yes. So it is a six week program course, you know, whatever you want to call it, that I created modeled through some of the other programs that I've done that are contributing to helping people get on the TEDx stage. Like if any of you have ever wanted to do this and you went onto the website and you immediately got overwhelmed by all of the events that are going on and all the whole process and what about the speech and what do I put in there? And, you know, uh, TEDx and TED are very specific about what it is that they're looking for. And so in these six weeks, we're going to look at what is the idea that you would like to bring to the TED and the TEDx stage? How do you craft your 10 minute talk? 10 minutes. Actually, I think it's 10 to 18 minutes. How do you craft your 10 to 18 minute talk so that you can communicate that idea? Um, it's not the same to talk for eight hours a day during uh, facilitating a class. It's, it's a totally different muscle. One that I personally have had to exercise for many years, like when I spoke in Bahrain and in Egypt and in Dubai, those were all 10 minute talks. And so there is an art and a finesse to creating something that is only 10 minutes that delivers you know, that idea, clear, clearly, clarity, with clarity, that idea with clarity. So the program is about getting clear on what it is that you would like to talk about. It's um, some guidance and some suggestions on uh, the flow of your speech. There are certain things, certain elements that TED and TEDx are looking for specifically from, from uh, the speeches. Uh, the program is also, we're going to look at what's holding you back, what's stopping you, and clearing any of the limitations or the blocks that you may have to showing up in this way in the world. Um, TED 
the organization has been around for over 30 years. And it was first created as a forum to deliver ideas about technology and design and I think entertainment. And since then it's grown so much. Like TED Talks get millions and millions and millions of views. So they actually um, decided to create TEDx events, which are local events mm -hmm. that happen all over the world every day. Like the big TED, TED events only happen like three times a year and it's quote unquote, pock pod, really hard to get into those because you need to know someone and you need to be nominated, blah, 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 blah. But the local TEDx events are much easier, much more fun. They're happening everywhere around the world. And yet there is still a sort of this reality process on how to get on that kind of stage. So that's what this program is about. Um, for me personally, the idea of inviting people who are using the tools of access to share their story, their experience, their favorite tool is just another way to get the tools out into the world. I'm vehemently passionate about the tools of access, access, access consciousness. <laughs> I just love them. They, there is nothing out in, in the world that is like these tools. And one of the main things about the TED Talks is that they're purpose is to shift global consciousness. It is to put seeds out into the world that will shift the way that the world is, is thinking about particular things. And to me, there's nothing, nothing more magnificent than the tools of access. <laughs> so that's part of why this all came about. Oh, I'm, I'm picking people's brains now. So I had a few people that asked me, um, uh, if I was putting on this event. And first, I want to acknowledge how aware you are <laughs> and that you are in the future. And I think I might have said this earlier in the video, but I'm going to say it again. It is in my vision to create and curate a TED event that features specifically the tools of access consciousness. And um, so yay you for being super aware. And we got to start with something. And this is, this is where we're starting. Okay. So, okay. Now I'll let you talk. <clears throat> so my question is, is this is all very, very inspiring to me and exciting. And, um, I wonder how many people out there, myself included are like, Patty, this sounds great, but like, I don't know what I would talk about. I don't ha like, there's tons of tools that I love, but I don't know that I could get on stage or I don't know what I would talk about. And they're having that sort of like, I want to do your program, but I, I like, don't think I'm ready. Like, what would you say to those people? Yeah. You know, I was actually just having a conversation with someone about this very, this very thing. Now, number one, the purpose of this is to help you get clarity on what it is that you would talk about. And when we go through what it is that they're looking for, that may create more awareness around what is the thing that you would like to share about. Um, and the other thing is that I have gotten a lot of like, oh, I'm not ready and this is not right now and maybe in the future. But listen, just as I had this big vision for this event in the future, you got to look at what can I choose and do today that will actualize this right away. So if you're someone that this has been in your universe for a long time, hi, Coop Laxon um, and Sergey. Hi, guys. So if you're someone that this has been in your universe for a long time, choice is what's going to create it. And maybe, maybe, not that you're not ready, but this, this, how do I say this? What you choose today is going to create the future that you're aware of. So choose this now if it's light and generative and expansive for you and what future will you create with this choice um the tedx application process can be a long one like i've applied to three events that are happening here in los angeles in the los angeles area between now and december and they're all full so they're looking for applications for next year 
right? So what can you choose today that is going to create this right away? But if you wait, like now's not the time. I don't know if I'm going to do this again, <laughs> you know, um, and this may be for next year and you will likely be ready next year. If you think that you're not ready now, this whole program is designed to invite you into that possibility to invite you into that space because you are ready. And if you're thinking that you're not, then are you head tripping yourself out of something that you've been asking for? You've been asking for this. I know I can feel you guys. I can perceive you. I can, I, I hear you. Um, so if you've been asking for it and this is showing up and it's light, then my invitation is for you to say yes to yourself. <laughs> What else, Jocelyn? That's awesome. So I think you already said this, but I sort of like, I kind of want to reiterate it for those that may be jumping on now or um, didn't fully hear you. So you were talking about when you spoke in other countries and when you've done other speeches, um, I know for a long time they had like 30 to an hour and a half talks, but correct me if I'm wrong, but like now they want like 10 minute speeches. And so, yeah. And so even There's if, a lot yeah. of... Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Well, so several things on that. Yes. There's a lot of events happening now around the world where they are, the format is 10 minute speeches. And that is a very different muscle to build than a 30 minute, you know, 90 minute, two hour, <laughs> yeah. day long, day long thing. Um, when I spoke in Bahrain, it was 10 minutes. When I spoke in Dubai, it was 10 minutes. And it's a hard 10 minutes. Like, you got to be done. So you have to be able to articulate what it is that you are looking to share in that time that is going to be conveyed in a clear manner. And that, like I said, is a muscle. Um, TEDx speeches used to be 18 minutes long, and that's changing because people are not we're already probably going too long here. People are not paying attention for more than five or 10 minutes. So you can do a TED talk that's five minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. But even the whole 18 minute format is, is going away because attention spans are just not. Yeah. <laughs> They're not included. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that in mind, I, I just, I love this creation, this program. Um, I know that this is being asked to be created. And so I'm really, really grateful that you're stepping up to the plate and being a trailblazer like you are. And um, thank you. if there was anything else that you could tell people who are thinking about it, who have just learned about it through this Facebook Live, um, what would you tell them and what information can you give them or share below? Yeah, um, you know, what's, what's popping right now is, I mean, I've created this program for people who are choosing the tools of access consciousness to be on the TEDx stage. Cause that's, that's my vision. That's what I'm perceiving and asking questions about. And these tools can actually contribute to you for anything that may be going on locally, where they may be asking for a 10 minute talk or a 15 minute talk about something. So it's, it's the TEDx stage and beyond, you know, what, what is asking to be created through you mm -hmm. that that's showing up in a totally different way? Maybe you never even thought about doing a TED talk. You didn't even know what that was. But speaking was something that, that has been in your, you know, awareness for a long time. So, yeah. Uh, how does it get any better? Come and play with me. I, you know... What's the worst that could happen? I could inspire you to choose something different, to do something more. I don't know. She's very guilty of doing that. I'm, I'm living proof. So, <laughs> so um, the link, which I'll put below here, is pattyalfonso.sexy slash TEDx. You have to apply. Just get, let's get you used to the application process. Just some simple questions on, on what you think your might talk be like. Just something to kind of help sort of uh, shake it out of your your awareness and then we start on Friday at 1 p.m. and it's a six weeks to gosh to really expanding 
your business, expanding your voice in the world. Can you imagine? I've had some people applying like, oh, well, I don't have a website yet. That's cool. Imagine if on your website, on the home page was your, your TED Talk. Like, what would that create for your business, for sharing the tools in the world, for creating more consciousness in the world? So that's my target. How does it get better? Thank you, How Jocelyn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching now and in the future, and I will see you on Friday. Bye, everybody. Bye for now.